John Besh is stepping down from the company he co-owns, the Besh Restaurant Group. Michael Lochizano Getty Images John Besh, the high-profile New Orleans restaurateur, is stepping down from the company he founded and co-owns after more than two dozen female employees reported facing sexual harassment there. John has decided to step down from all aspects of operations and to provide his full focus on his family. Shannon White, who is now chief executive of the company, the Besh Restaurant Group, told employees in an email. The move was announced on Monday, after the publication of a lengthy investigation by the Times Picayune and NOLA.com over the weekend detailing sexual harassment allegations from 25 current and former employees. That report described a work environment where harassment went unchecked, and those who spoke up were ignored or penalized. The women said that they were subjected to inappropriate touching and comments from male employees and managers, and that, in some cases, individuals in power tried to use their positions for sex. Some of the allegations were against Mr. Besh himself. The Besh Restaurant Group was founded in 2005 and employs about 1,200 people, according to the Times Picayune. Its first ever director of human resources began work on October 11. I think a lot of this could have been avoided if we had a trusted person to talk to, Maddie Robeson, who said she experienced harassment during her two years at the restaurant group, said in a phone interview on Sunday. In the email, Ms. White, formerly the company's chief operating officer, thanked her staff for being patient during what she described as an extremely stressful time. She also announced a series of changes underway at the company. They include conducting an outside review into unreported claims, creating an employee advisory committee, updating sexual harassment and conduct policies, and offering employee services, training and education. It is unacceptable if even one of you feels you cannot voice a concern about inappropriate workplace conduct, Ms. White wrote. Let's collectively ensure that we have a zero-tolerance policy toward harassment of any kind. The Times Picayune investigation revealed that at least two women had filed complaints with the United States Equal Employment Opportunity Commission. In one, an employee who was not named accused Mr. Besh of pressuring her to submit to his sexual overtures, the newspaper reported. She said that, during a work trip, he encouraged her to drink heavily and later overwhelmed her in her hotel room where he engaged in oral sex and fell asleep. In a statement, Mr. Besh said there had been a consensual relationship. I also regret any harm this may have caused to my second family at the restaurant group, and sincerely apologize to anyone past and present who has worked for me who found my behavior as unacceptable as I do, he said. The Besh Restaurant Group is behind several well-regarded New Orleans establishments, including August, Domenica, Willa Jean and Shea. On Sunday night, Harris New Orleans Hotel and Casino announced that it had severed its relationship with the company and that it would rename its Besh Steak Restaurant. Several high-profile figures in the restaurant industry praised the Times Picayune investigation for shedding light on misogyny behind the scenes, and expressed hopes that it would bring about positive change. The beginning of the end of institutionalized meathead culture in the restaurant business. HTTPS Cofalo fixes Anthony Bourdain at Bourdain October 21, 2017. It is beyond time. I hear so much that's just the way it is, but that doesn't buy people a free pass from having to try to do better. Cat Kinsman at Kin with Awip October 21, 2017. Need. To make sure restaurant industry is actively leading the way, respect, dignity, humanity is non-negotiable. Especially protecting women, Jose Andres at Shea Jose Andres October 22, 2017.